well guys uh, this is chapter number four cost minimization and this is from microeconomic analysis by Hal Arvarian third edition so this chapter is cost minimization this chapter is important because of two reason and two reason makes this chapter more interesting the first one is we can analyze the supply behavior of the firm in a perfectly competitive market and the second reason is cost minimization allows to model the production behavior of a firm uh, which don't face competitive market. So let us start this chapter formally. So we are starting from the calculus of cost minimization, right? So taking the constraint optimization problem, this is this is total budget of the total cost of the firm and this is the given level of output and we want to minimize this total cost of the firm subject to this constraint this given level of output so the Lagrangian function becomes a uh, cost function minus lambda time constraint that is the constant level of output and if we apply the first order conditions that is the derivative of this Lagrangian function with respect to all factor inputs and with respect to lambda. So we can report the first order condition this way, look at it, right? So this is a vector of first order conditions, right, with respect to all factor inputs. However, if we take the uh, first order derivative of the Lagrangian function with respect to lambda, we get the constraint of the function that is y is equal to f of x direct where x direct shows the critical values that is the factor input bundle at which the cost is minimized the first order condition can also be reported as w is equal to lambda time gradient of the uh, first order derivatives this is the vector of the first order derivatives or uh, if we solve it for two factor inputs i and j we will get the uh, input price ratio which is equal to the marginal physical productivity of the factor inputs in other words the input price ratio which is also known as the economic rate of substitution and the ratio of the marginal physical productivity of the two factor inputs this is technical rate of substitution and at the optimized develop output the economic rate of substitution must be equal to the technical rate of substitution the cost minimization problem can also be shown with the help of the uh, diagram this shows the horizontal axis shows the uh, x1 or the first factor input and the vertical axis the x2 or the second factor input this shows the ISO cost line, right? And this is this is the ISO quant, right? And this is the point at which the uh, cost is minimum. This is the cost minimization point. Two conditions are satisfied over here. The first one is the economic rate of substitution is exactly equal to the uh, technical rate of substitution because slope of the ISO cost line shows the economic rate of substitution and slope of the ISO quant shows the uh, technical rate of substitution which shows the ratio of the marginal physical productivity of the two factor inputs. The two condition for pairs here are the slope of the ISO quant is exactly equal to the slope of the ISO cost right and the ISO quant is convex to the origin at the point of tangency. So this is shows the minimum distance between the origin and this point, the point of tangency, right? So it can be mathematically uh, proved that if the these conditions are not met, then cost will not be minimized, and it can be shown mathematically. Uh, in the next video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.